People always say to me, uh, well, how would you build your deck differently for multiplayer? Or I don't play uh, so many fast ramping cards because I'm built for multiplayer. You know, in multiplayer they play like big, slow, dumb things. And uh, so I decided I wanted to make a video in which I join a multiplayer game and demonstrate that the principles in multiplayer are the exact same principles you need in 1v1. Uh, get more mana than your opponents, win game, and cards, and win the game. So I do. I join this. Luckily, I do happen to go first. But uh, I'm playing, of course, Edric. And my opponents are playing, who cares? And um, so this is my opening hand, and it's not reliable enough, but luckily in multiplayer, you get to mulligan to seven. So I mulligan to this. Perfect. So I'm going to keep. So I'm just going to kind of speed through these initial turns, and one of the guys mulligans twice, the others don't mulligan, and uh, he reveals Chancellor of the Spires, so we all get millstone for seven. Seems pretty terrible uh, to be using a card like that. So now if I draw a regrowth, it's like Demonic Tutor. Uh, but he doesn't hit any key cards here. So anyway, Sylvan's Bummer to see it go, that's about it. No guy's cradle, no winter orb. Uh, so, these guys all lead off with doing whatever it is that they plan to do. We get down to turn two commander, just like normal. And of course the red player, he's like my main threat. I'm looking at green as whatever I'll get around to him. Red's the blue red's one of the main threats because he can sweep. Double blue's a threat because he can just be uh, disruptive to my plans. So these are the two guys I want to take out first. Um, so first thing I do is just attack um, the mono blue player. Who plays a snapcaster and then elects not to bounce block. Very odd choice. Very, very odd choice. So anyway, I get Scrib, no end, but it, I'm able to do the Scrib trick and get down to Draga. The blue-red player plays this um, Rattlesnake counterspell creature here. Definitely, uh, he's definitely moved up on the list of people that are a threat, but really it's going to come down to trying to beat everybody all at once as opposed to like taking one person down in these long slogs, like one, two, three. That's not at all how control works. When you get in control, everybody loses. So I just attack for a card before deciding what I'm going to do. And then level up Draga. Tap for two green. Pump him. Cast a Garrick with Mana Drain back up. Tap for two more mana, untap. Cast uh, Oracle of Moldiah. And I do not reveal land. So I'm done for the turn. It's getting to be about about mana at drain time here any, at any moment. But I wanted to get that oracle down before the Void Mage. And I'm, unlike 1v1, I'm not, I didn't want a natural order and just blast one person out of the game, like, you know, kill this guy's islands and stuff. Um, for one thing, uh, Edric works for everybody, so it's another reason why Edric's just, like, even stronger, because in multiplayer, this rewards your opponents for attacking each other. So... Not only are you rewarded for attacking, but um, your opponents are rewarded for not attacking you. Because if they attack you, they don't draw cards, but if they attack each other, they do. Um, it's just way too powerful <laughs> of a commander. But um, anyway, so this Omnath player is like doing some modest ramping. They're all attacking each other over there, making my life easier. So even if they decided they want to gang up on me and make me public enemy number one, they don't get any extra cards. Not only I do. So anyway, I finally reveal a land, uh, City of Brass, and then I'm going to just move this over here. And then I go ahead and attack to draw three cards. And I split it up like f one here and two there, you know, to mix the damage up a little bit so nobody feels picked on. I mean, it doesn't hurt to be a little cognizant of that fact. And for whatever reason, the Void Mage Prodigy player messes up big time. I cast Aereo as a baseball. I figure that's definitely getting countered, right? And he lets it go. And that's it. So, tap mana, untap, play land, thanks to uh, Oracle. Tap for even more. 
and uh, cast an arch shield, which he decides is worthy of countering our fellows, Finhorn Elves, and Garrick my lands, and they quit. Everybody quits, leaving just the Omnath player who tries to go for it, I guess, with the defense of the heart and the mana drain, and he quits. So, how do you win in multiplayer? Well, it was one, one way. So, uh, of course, if he hadn't if you'd let the Arreo go through, then I had Bribery Natural Order that turn. Um, sure, that probably... I'm, I'm fairly certain that would have elicited a scoop. Any of the three cards, Chase, Natural Order, and Bribery together, most likely would have got the flip. And of course, on the other side of things, had he uh, countered the Arreo, I simply regrow it, recast it, and then cast one more spell. And there, there was no stopping it <coughs> that turn for them. So, how do you beat... Everybody, well, you get more mana than everybody at the table, and now you're ahead of the entire table, and you lose. It's all about mana. This game is about mana. If more people would realize that, uh, I think they would do a lot better and uh, have more interesting competition. So anyway, this is the deck list here. hasn't changed since last few videos. Uh, I just <coughs> added an additional mana ramp a while back and been loving it. Again, mana, 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 that's the key to magic. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, perhaps I'll make some more multiplayer if interest is expressed. Otherwise, uh, probably back to 1v1. I'll see you next time.